National IRA have said both were killed while on active service. In a follow-up operation, the security forces arrested one man. The lunchtime explosion occurred in a quiet cul-de-sac off Cremore Gardens as the two men were apparently loading bombs into a car. Police believe the device which killed them was a blast incendiary, a theory supported by the fact that two other blast incendiaries were found at the scene and had to be made safe by army technical experts. Local people who rushed to the spot are believed to have removed the two bodies from the wrecked car and then to have set it alight before the arrival of police. The car, a Renault 9, had been hijacked in the bogside shortly before midday. The two victims, Eddie McSheffrey and Paddy Deary, were both well-known Republican activists and the IRA admitted later that they'd been killed while on active service. Eddie McSheffrey was one of 35 people acquitted when the Raymond Gilmer Supergrass trial collapsed in December 1984. He had been facing 49 terrorist charges on the word of the informer. I am a Republican and this isn't going to change me. Have you ever been a member of the IRA? No. no. In August 1985, he was seriously injured when a rocket exploded prematurely in the bog site, killing the man who was carrying it, Charles English. Paddy Deary to their homes in Londonderry last night. They were killed by their own bomb in the Cregan area on Wednesday, and their wives have urged Dr Daly to drop his ban, imposed after the IRA fired shots over an IRA man's coffin.